Welcome everyone. Uh, you are viewing live video from remotely operated vehicle Sebastian deployed off of Research Vessel Falcor of the Schmidt Ocean Institute. For the first time we've been able to both image and, and collect samples from these deeper areas of the reefs and seamounts and canyons of the Coral Sea. Uh, from a marine geoscientist perspective, I think the most uh, amazing data that we've collected on this survey is evidence of how the margins of the reefs and seamounts uh, actually are changing quite rapidly over geological time. There's this balance between the growth and accretion of the reef and, and then the erosion and, and the failure of it downslope. We're interested in the rocks because we're trying to determine whether the base origins of this seamount are volcanic or ancient reef. What we've been able to see so far is that um, the, the pedestals that the modern reefs are sitting on are very ancient, very huge reefs that grew uh, millions of years ago. Not only has the ROV showed us these unique drowned reef structures with cliffs and drop-offs and major boulder fields and big slump deposits, but as we move further up, both the ROV and the AUV has been a revelation in terms of the deep reefs that occur on the platforms. We didn't know about these reefs before because they're beyond the normal scuba diving depth range, so almost every square inch in that 100 to uh, 80 meter depth range is covered with corals, crusting algae, sponges, and the diversity appears amazing. Uh, we've just downloaded uh, roughly 70,000 image pairs from the AUV series. Uh, it's high resolution imagery. I get to go away for the next uh, many months and uh, analyze all of this imagery. It's great. We're gonna be able to get this to a genus level. Uh, this is really, really exciting. Using samples that we can collect from the ROV and the super high imagery the AUV and the ROV is offering, we'll be able to test how similar or unique these reef systems are biologically to, for instance, reefs on the Great Barrier Reef or other mid-ocean reefs that uh, there are information on already. So this, this black coral we found it over a thousand meters deep and um, it's in the family Schizopathidae. And a lot of the genera in this family are really unknown where those taxonomic boundaries lie, what differentiates one species from another. So this specimen will absolutely help us solve that, that mystery. The Schmidt Ocean Institute surveys out here in the Coral Sea are rapidly transforming the Coral Sea Marine Park from being one of the least known and poorly characterized areas of Australia's marine estate to one of the best mapped and best understood areas 